Two great guests here this morning as we're going to have a conversation about the Shelton School District and then we'll jump in with uh, Police Chief Darren Moody about the other uh, week's worth of news from the police department. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. morning. So first things first, uh, there have been some uh, reports over this last week, uh, Chief Moody, uh, and it involves the youth. And so a good time to have you both here to talk about the priorities of student safety and school safety from both on campus as to off campus Mm -hmm. Uh, and I know that there is uh, conversations uh, ongoing about bringing on the school resource officers and I've seen some of them there at the football games on the Friday nights but when it comes to student safety on campus how you know how involved and how much do you guys talk about this and this this school resource officers things like that I don't think there's a week that goes by that we don't have conversations about it. Right. Oh, um, that's good. You know, Alex hired a great person in Karen DeWitt. Um, Karen is, we've got a 911 line to each other. And oh, Karen's in with us, we're in with her, and we're, we're everything's tied together. I, I, I've never worked with a better police force than here in Shelton. And I've worked with some good ones uh, in Tacoma and Issaquah and places like that. No one has been more responsive than uh, Darren and his team. I mean, nothing happens in our schools uh, that they're not there on the spot. And uh, we've got a great relationship. Uh, We take our school safety very seriously. We're one of the few schools that has a full-time safety and security officer. And for the size of our district to have that, it's unheard of, to be honest. So we, we take safety and security. It's a number one priority in our school district. You mentioned some larger cities that you have um, mm-hmm. dealt with. Is that the testament to the close-knit community of Shelton? Or I know you guys both together have been working hard on graduation matters and the mm-hmm. like. I'm sure that helps the partnership, too. Well, there's there's no question. Uh, Darren is very active in the community, and we, we serve on committees together. But uh, the relationship that the school district has with the police force and my relationship with Darren, it's the best. That's great. And, and they, will, they, will, they respond, let me tell you, and I see it firsthand every single day. Nothing happens in our schools where if we need police assistance, boom, they're there. You know, and it just, it's not just in with the campus. You know, at the end of this, we share the kids. Mm-hmm. You know, during the day they're on the campus. When they're leaving school, there was school still involved. Even the incidents we had this week, I mean, they took place after school, right. after school hours when most of the staff's on their way home. Right. And we're still on the phone with Karen and Alex going, here's what the update is. Here's what we need to be ready for. You know, Jackie's been great. Um, she's a, she's almost my PIO sometimes of calling, <laughs> nice. going. Here's what we need to get out there, and here's the information we need to have. Yeah, I have noticed there's uh, with with Jackie McAlevey coming in and doing that social media and information. There has been a, a lot more flow, uh, getting it out. We get the emails as soon as they happen. And she's yeah. done. She's doing a great job and and promoting our school district and being on top of things like safety and security. And again, that's a position we the school district has never had before but it's extremely necessary to have. So uh, I, I'm very satisfied with uh, the protection uh, that we're getting from, our, from Darren and the police. Uh, it couldn't be better, and uh, I think it shows. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, the police are all over the place uh, around our schools every single day, and I, I go to the schools and I see firsthand that our, our officers are they're taking their uh, job very, very seriously. And what are you hearing from the officers about how they're interacting with the kids? And I know it's just the school year is very young, but still the impact. Well, I can give you a couple examples, and one of them just this week when we had those incidents. The nice thing about the school resource officers, and we've said it from the get-go, is they form a relationship with the kids. They're part of the staff. Uh, Paul Campbell's been outstanding. Yeah. And when we had our first incident this week with the 12-year-old, <clears throat> there was no hesitation of that child to go to Paul. Um, oh, good. Officer Paul, you're here. What can I tell you? Let's have a conversation. As opposed to an officer that this per- child doesn't know coming up to them as their first contact. It can be scary. No, yeah, and maybe. she's yeah. she's given high fives to Officer Campbell going, I'm glad to have Very you here. Cool. He brings her down to the police department. We have conversations with her and her parents immediately while I'm having conversations with the district of here's what's going on, here's what we need to prepare for, and here's what we need to look for. That's great. Um, and, you know, right now, the relationship we have is so good that we're actually working on a handshake deal right now. I mean, that's the reality. 
Um, we've talked about it for the last nine months to a year of having school resource officers. You know, I'll let Alex talk about it, but you've seen all the struggles with the state budgets and education. Mm -hmm. So we're still working through budget and contract issues and what we're going to do. But we have two. We have two full-time school resource officers right wow. now that are sharing the schools. Wow. Um, safety and security, top priority, and we've included in it in our budget planning, and uh, we're supporting it. And as far as I'm concerned, and I know the uh, school board feels this way, it's a top priority, and we will continue to fund it in the years to come. Mm -hmm. we it's uh, 818 now, and we have other great news to talk about with the school district, but uh, I'll let you get out of here. Next week, we'll talk about some Very of the good. upcoming partnerships that Very you and I have been discussing. You bet. Chief Moody, you stay here, and then we'll talk so. a little good bit more about uh, this last week. It's been a busy week for the police department. That coming up next.